Hey, hey everybody. So today we're gonna to go through a discrete probability practice question. What are the odds of flipping exactly 30 heads from 50 coin flips of a weighted coin if the probability of getting a head is 0 0.8? So to get in, getting started with this question, a lot of the times with discrete probability questions, we first wanna define a random variable. So a random variable is essentially how we keep track of the experiment. In this case, the experiment would be our 50 coin flips. So let X denote the number of heads flipped when we flip 50 coins. And the reason we want to use a random variable to denote this is both to help you keep track of what's going on in the question, but also for people that are maybe looking at how you solve this question. So X is going to be a random variable. So let X be a random variable. So RV stands for a random variable. So X is a random variable that denotes the number of heads flipped when we flip 50 coins. And what this question is asking us to do is find the odds of flipping exactly 30 heads. So essentially what we want to do is we're looking for the probability that X is equal to 30. So how can we solve this question? Well, let's start by thinking about what's going on. So essentially what we're going to have is a sequence of 50 heads and tails, a mix of heads and tails, right? And essentially, we want to find the odds that 30 of these exactly are heads. Well, starting out, what we'd want to do is say, OK, of our 50 spots, let's choose 30 to be the head spots. So essentially, what we're saying is that of our 50 in total, we're saying, OK, 30 of those are going to be heads. But then now the next part of the question is, OK, what are the odds that we get a heads? So we'd have to say 0 0.8 to the power 30. And that's the odds that we get exactly 30 heads. And we're going to multiply that by 0 0.2 times the 20 because we want 30 heads. But at the same time, if we have 30 heads, we also know that we want 20 tails. Hopefully, you may recognize this formula from lecture. And we can generalize it as a Bernoulli trial. So essentially, this would be called a Bernoulli trial or a Bernoulli experiment where kind of each of an individual event, so in this case, flipping a coin, has either a probability of success or failure. And those are the 0.8 and 0.2 that we're using here. So now, on to the next part. What are the odds of flipping at least 30 heads from 50 coin flips of a weighted coin if the probability of getting a heads is 0 0.8? So this one's a little bit more challenging from the, than the first, but the idea is similar, right? Let's suppose we had 50 or we had a sequence of 50 heads and tails, right? So some mix of heads and tails. And from before, we're going to use the same x. So we want to look for the probability of x being greater than or equal to 30. And that comes from the fact that we're looking for at least 30 heads. So the probability that x is greater than or equal to 30 is actually going to be equal to the probability that x is equal to 30, x is equal to 31, all the way to the probability of x being equal to 50. And the reason we stop at 50 is because that's the most number of heads that we can have since we're only doing 50 coin flips. Well, if we think back to our previous work and what we did, essentially what we did was we said, okay, out of 50, let's choose K of them. And this is going to be, K is going to be the number of heads. And then we know that the probability of there being K heads is 0 0.8 to the power K times 0 0.2 to the power of 50 minus K. Well, essentially, this is the probability of k occurring. What we're looking for is the probability that x is equal to 30 all the way to 50. Just to clarify, this is the probability that x is equal to k. Right? So then now what we're looking for is the sum from 30 all the way to 50. Well, we can generalize it using this and this. Essentially, we're going to say the probability that x is greater than or equal to 30 is equal to the sum from i is equal to 30 to 50. So in this case, we're going to be i is going to be the number of heads that we're flipping. And then now we have to find out what the probability of each outcome is. So like 30 heads, 31 heads, etc. So we're going to say 50, choose i, because that's the number of heads that we want to pick. Of those, there's a 0 0.8 chance of flipping any given, of flipping one head, and then 0 0.2 times 50 to the minus i. So these are going to be the number of heads. And then the rest of them 
are actually tails. And that's where the 50 minus I comes in. Since 50 total coin flips, I are heads, 50 minus I have to be tails. So essentially what we did for this part of the question was, we first started off by finding out if we could somehow find a generic way to express the probability that X is equal to K. And then after that, if we're flipping at least 30 heads, that would be the number of ways to flip 30, 31, all the way to 50 heads. And by summing it up, what we're doing is we're addressing it case by case. And in total, this summation should give us the probability that we're looking for. Thanks for watching.